Amid increasing tensions between Europe and Russia, the EU's announced a plan to make it easier and faster for military personnel and equipment to be moved across the bloc. The Schengen-style approach is seen as crucial by NATO to overcome border as well as infrastructure hurdles, such as bridges and tunnels, not up to the job. We will make sure, as I said, that the investments are done in the most efficient uh, way and, uh, of course, that our uh, priorities as, uh, are aligned and that we join forces in order to deliver a proper infrastructure for the entire EU. Uh, and, of course, we will have to then, in the future, align these strategies also with NATO. Russia's APAD war games last year on NATO's eastern flank hiked concerns that the massive drills could accidentally spark a conflict in eastern Europe. There's a fear it would leave NATO on the back foot, not being able to mass troops there at speed. There's no huge cost involved. Um, if, of course, in the future you, you want to take into account certain military needs when you build new uh, roads and, and railroads, there might be a cost, but it's not as if we're going to build specific roads only for the military. The plan is going to EU governments and the European Parliament. The best routes for military transport are due to be outlined next year.